Hey folks, uh, I'm in Canmore, Alberta today and I'm doing a couple of profiles on a couple of very cool passive solar greenhouses and uh, one of them is in this community garden that a couple of students of mine started a number of years ago and so I want to just go and take a look at the community garden have a look at the passive solar greenhouse and uh, show you what permaculture can look like on the community scale. This garden I've watched as I drive by it going out to Invermere and even coming through Canmore over the last few years and it just looks incredible. So take a look as I walk by it here. We'll go through the gate and uh, take a peek inside and see what all is going on. One of the cool things that they did at this greenhouse is uh, they had to solve a really hard water problem and so all the water comes from the hospital because the land is uh, on hospital land and so uh, what they did was they ended up bringing water down from the hospital and putting them putting it into these tanks here up on stands and the stands give it a bit of gravity so that they could move water around through the garden without having to use a pump which I thought was pretty smart so all of these beds you'll see that they've got swales and mulch in between the swales. All the plants are just doing absolutely incredible. Look at these beautiful raised beds, cold frame, got beans and peas, cabbage and beets, dill, salad greens, oh, a whole bed of asparagus, unbelievable. What an amazing community garden. We've got uh, Compost in the middle, more kale, so many plants for pollination, just amazing. So I've seen this passive solar greenhouse a number of times and uh, it's a cute little greenhouse. It's, it's actually got glass as a glazing surface. Uh, it's probably about a hundred square feet. Let's see what's going on inside of it. So we've got two little small raised beds in here. Um, at some point the back wall had plastic bottles for thermal mass. Um, it's a very very simple structure, very similar to my greenhouse. And, um, and, and on a couple of years here they've had tomatoes and they've grown all sorts of different crops in there. I bet you that you could get most of these materials for free if you scavenge them. They've got a vent opener here on this side, right here. And overall it's a really great little structure. This could be a great backyard greenhouse that you could build for under a couple grand. Maybe even free if you scavenged all the materials. Um, and you can see they've placed it perfectly in the south portion of the, the garden. So I wanted to come over here and just take a quick peek at it because sometimes we make things more complicated than they need to be. And when you look at what they're doing inside of this little tiny space here, um, it's amazing what you can achieve with a small budget and a little bit of time. Anyways, I'm going to walk through a little bit more of the garden here. This looks like a bit of a hugel culture mound. It's kind of interesting. It's a herb garden. We've got nasturtiums, bee balm, sunflowers, more onions and garlic. Unreal. Just super cool. Well, hopefully you found that interesting. If you do, hit the subscribe button below. There's going to be a lot more greenhouse case studies coming along. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or future topics you'd like me to do a video on, please let me know.